Well, hello everybody. It is the one and only Sneaky Fox around here, and we're going to be playing some VR missions on Metal Gear Solid 2 HD Collection. Now, um, I haven't been uploaded. I mean, I haven't uploaded anything in a while because I'm waiting for Nix to come over and start the plan. So I thought, as a little filler, we can play some VR missions, and we're going to do sneaking one to ten with Rad. Now, here's the thing with um. If you are missions, I saw before, even though Snake or Raden. Raden is preferably easier than Snake. And you're gonna have the luxury of me talking to you for 17 minutes straight. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna be talking much about the game since the next is gonna be with me in the plot. So I'm just gonna cover some stuff overall about the current game itself. Okay, so um, Mel gives all to Sons of Liberty commonly abbreviated as MGS2, is a stealth action game directed by Hideo Kojima, developed by Konami Computer Entertainment Japan, and published by Konami for the PlayStation 2 in 2001. Is it is the fourth game in the Metal Gear series produced <coughs> and directed by Kojima and is a direct sequel of Metal Gear Solid. The release was followed by an expanded edition Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, which we will get into later, for the PlayStation 2. Xbox and Microsoft Windows. <coughs> the game will see shipping over 7 million copies worldwide and scoring a meta score of 96 on the Metacritic. Yeah, I have no idea what Metacritic is, but you know, I'll probably search it up and find out later. While the gameplay was most was almost universally acclaimed, critics and fans were divided by the philosophical, philosophical, yeah, philosophical nature and execution of the game storyline which explores in the themes and memes, social engineering, political conspiracies, and artificial intelligence. Critics and fans were also divided on Raden, a new character who served the meme. <sighs> I hate pronouncing this word. <sighs> Pro protagonist, there we go, protagonist, with the majority of the game and the length of the game cutscenes. The plot is... Two years after the Shadow Moses incident, Salt Snake and Otacon, working as full empathy, receive intelligence of a new type of metal gear being transported through the Hudson Good River. Work, right. A snake boards a tanker, it's seized by a group of Russian mercenaries led by Revolver Ocelot, intent on stealing the new metal gear. Another two years later, the big shell, the offshore cleanup facility constructed in its place, is taken over by the terrorist faction calling themselves Sons of Liberty. New Fox Hound Operative Raden is sent in to neutralize the threat, however, all is not as it seems. So yeah, basically, this is the fourth game, because there was Metal Gear, Metal Gear Snake's Revenge, I think it was called, and then Metal Gear Solid and Metal Gear Solid 2. A lot of fans were unhappy that Raden overtook Snake in the main story, and that's why mainly a lot of people don't like him. Personally, I just love Raden, because... Uh, well, favorite is Snake. Obviously, Snake is my ultimate favorite out of the two. There? But actually, Naked Snake from Free because oh yeah, I got caught there. Sorry, I have no idea what happened there, but you know, <sighs> is this the yeah, it is the hanger one? Yep. Yeah, so what I was getting at, Ran. I like Ran, it's a bit of a change for Snake because like Snake was this like late twenties, maybe early late thirties year old man that could that was really well yeah, I was obviously excellent at sneaking. But then Ran came in and he's like this flexible kind of young guy who overtakes Snake. Now um as far as I can tell in real life I'm flexible and actually really really agile like Raden and the similarities are very very precise like Is there somebody there? I would like to, I like to compare myself to Raden from two but I'd like to think of myself as a snake because I just love snake. Like on any game like I was I am um, recently got another Fallout New Vegas yeah Ultimate Edition and first off for the first um, two missions Tend to be snake, but then I changed my looks, got the first recon beret from Boone, <coughs> and became Oslo. And it was very, very, very fun. Just having like the 
range Sneakwa. Just like run around the place blowing people's brains out. So we're on... I think this is level... 6 of the VR mission. And I think I got caught a few times because somebody told me yeah like that. Yeah. Anyway, what I was basically getting back on. Snake is basically... I don't want to say better than Raden, but see, this is the thing. I I I prefer Nick Snake than Salt Snake because he has more of this emotion. He's ba basically don't want to ruin any of the story for those who haven't played it, even though you really should have, because it's a great game. Um, I'll probably tell you in Peace Walker, which I'll probably be doing in a while. Um, Salt Snake. Is Nick a snake's son, but not really his son since he's a clone, if that makes sense. So, in a fact and in a way, it's like one percentage that they aren't the same. And like, I like the original better, which is Nick Snake. Not to mention, he has more of a story to it. Like, Salt Snake was like born into this kind of like line of work. Like, Nick Snake wasn't, he was just like. A normal soldier who's in the green phrase and that, and was trained by the legendary boss. I won't go into much because I don't want to spoil the metal case all free walk through. But, um, yeah, he, he was brought up by this legendary hero, a woman called the boss, um, voice actor by Lorian. And, Laurie Allen, was it Laurie Ann? I think it's Laurie Allen, I'm not very sure, but, yeah, and like, she, like she went on the mission to kill the sorrow, I believe, who was like her husband or boyfriend, I guess, and like he went a bit like unstable for a while, and then like Jeff, he put, got put into a mission called the Virgin's Mission, where he had to retrieve. Not going into anything quickly, just overall summary. He went to save this Russian rocket scientist. Came back, the boss betrayed him. And then all this crap went down with Russian and America. I know what happened, but I don't want to spoil it. And like a snake got sent to do something, which I'm not gonna tell because I don't wanna ruin it. So um yeah, just like overall, I like naked snake better than solid snake, that's what I'm getting at. Then like if it's just passing aside naked snake, if it was solid snake with Raden, and um See, that's the thing, it's a mix. I mean, I like Salt Snake better than Raden, but I couldn't really give reasons why. Like, I like Raden how he acts in two more than, he d than Snake does, but there's something about Snake that I really like. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's Snake Tails. Yeah, Substance, Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance, we'll be getting into that. And so, Metal Gear, is Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance. Many changes were added to the main game. The intro of Substance now has a typewriter sound, the name is appearing in the main intro. The sound is not heard in some deliberate. A new series of dog tags, 2002, have been put in the game, and the player has the option to choose between 2001 and 2002 series of dog tags. After they beat the game, some marines now have dog tags to collect when the player is in the holds. This is only available in the 2002 series of dog tags. The player can find the sounds of Snake's USP in the second playthrough. New posts can be seen throughout the game. The Nikita has been moved to a new location. In the tank chapter, the number of bombs the player must deactivate to get into the hold depends on how difficulty um, or oh, depends on the difficulty settings. Excuse me. The player can also choose two different chapters before even playing the game. The film goggles have been improved and remade for the realistic impression of heat. Of heat. Snake and Ran can now be seen wearing sunglasses during the player's fair playthrough. This is an item that we can that can't be removed. Sorry, some minor changes to the dialogue were made as well. For example, in some deliberately after Salt reveals Raden's past to him, he says, "No more games, Raden. At least you know." In some things, he changed to, "No more games, Jack. At least you know." Which that really doesn't make any sense. No more games, Raden. At least you know. In some things, he changed to. No games. Oh yeah, sorry. He changed the name from Rad to Jack. Oop, um yeah, that part there. I never try and kill a person on VR missions because if you don't kill